Four systems are always a confusing topic for many of us. And of course, we have two force system, the linear force system and the concurrent force system. In previous video, we had already discussed what is force and what is force vector. This video is purely for examination point of view and for competitive examinations. This, this can be asked as a short note question. What is linear force system? Or they can ask you what is concurrent force system? Or sometimes they can ask you compare between linear and concurrent force system. And this carries a great weightage and so you need to know in specific about the linear force system. So this video purely focus on the linear force system and how can we find out the result of the linear force system. In the upcoming video, we will see about the concurrent force system. About the linear force system, I just want you to pay some attention into this single term over here. Linear. What can you interrupt from here? That is lying, linear. Okay. That is the term line you can correlate from that. That means uh, something that is referred to as linear will be in line. So force system means uh, two or more forces. Force system means uh, two or more forces. So what is the scenario over here? When two or more forces act on a same segment. Okay, when two or more forces acting on a same segment are in same line like this. Okay, so we call it as collinear. Okay, same line and also in the same plane and also in the same plane. So we call it as coplanar. Then those forces, forces are compared to be or assumed to be the part of linear force system. What are the criteria? When two or more forces, then only it will become a force system. If single force is acting, it's just a force. It won't become force system. If two or more forces are acting on a same segment, this, you should not miss it. For example, when a force is acting on this board and another force is acting on this pill wall over here both of them even though they are in the same line even though they act in the same line they may not be, they are not a part of linear force system because the segment is different the segment is different so it should be a part of the same segment so a part of same segment when two or more forces which act on a same segment are in the same line collinear okay are in the same line and coplanar are in the same plane are in the same plane then that forces then those forces are to be considered to be a part of linear force system so collinear it is there in the linear itself Coplanar, coplanar, collinear. You can just find out from them. Single thing you have to remember what is it? It's force system. So it won't be one force. Don't write it as a force acting on a same segment which is collinear and coplanar. It's wrong. It is two or more forces acting. Then it becomes collinear and coplanar. Okay. So that is the definition of linear force system. Just repeat with me. What is that? Just remember. Just understand the thing without by hurting. So we have the linear force system. Force system means two or more forces. So two or more forces which act on same thing. That is a universal thing. It should be the same segment. Or go for this one. Linear collinear two forces means collinear when two or more are there we use the term collinear collinear and in the same plane coplanar then those forces are considered to be a part of linear force system i think that's clear then if the two forces are extended like this for example this is one force this is second force if those two forces are extended they overlap either each other so when we are getting into one more feature of linear force system, the forces overlap each other. What is that? The forces overlap each other. For example, 
there is a force acting ground downwards for example this is the gravitational force okay there is another force acting downwards which is of a weight cuff okay weight cuff something is tied onto a leg of a person for example this is considered to be the leg of a person okay just think it is a leg of a person now both of these forces are in the same line isn't it yes so if i extend these forces like this they become or they overlap each other if i extend those forces they overlap each other so these are the crucial characteristics of a linear force system so you can define it like this so this is a three marks question or a five mark question with respect to your university so you won't have something to write for five or uh, three marks so you can write linear force system exist or when two or more forces acting on a same segment are collinear and coplanar then they are said to be a part of linear force system second point the characteristic features of linear force system are they are collinear or they act on the same line they are coplanar that means they are in the same plane and when those force vectors are extended or when that forces are extended they overlap each other they overlap each other these are the three important characteristic features of a linear force system so you what you did is actually you did just define the first point and you are add on it but when you write on a heading like the main characteristics it becomes eye catching and you get good marks so presentation is very important and try to do it and if you draw a like diagram like this it adds on some more marks just you have to draw two lines like this one line gravitational another line uh, weight cuff or something like that or 10 kg weight then the linear force system exists when these two forces act on just draw in a straight line or just draw these two lines that's enough so plan it accordingly and write down the things now the third point is that with the linear force system forces can are given some plus and minus values the forces in the linear force system are given some plus and minus value for that i want to i want you to remember our cartesian coordinate system that is your x axis the y axis and the z axis x axis y axis and z axis so this is y axis this is y axis this is x x this is z this is z okay now up the y axis you will know that this is all basic mathematics up the y axis is known as the plus okay so we call this as the positive y axis if this is to the right side of the x axis then we call it as positive x axis if it is to this side, it, we call it as negative x-axis. If it is to this side, we call it as positive z-axis. This we call negative y-axis. This we call negative y-axis. Now, imagine a situation in which you have two forces. The first force is acting upwards like this. Okay. The first force is acting upward like this. The second force is act. This is the point of contact. Okay. Second force, force is acting on downwards these two forces are in same line and same plane now you need to mark it down this is 10 newton force this is 8 newton force okay how can you mark it how can you write down its value this will become positive 10 newton this will become negative 10 newton am i right because this is to negative y axis clear the scenario is clear i think so so this is the representation of the force when the force is acting on up the y axis right side of the x axis and forward the z axis they are referred to as positive points if the forces are acting down the y axis back the z axis and left hand side of the x axis they are referred to as negative value and how do you find out the arithmetic sum of these forces we know that there are two forces acting now we need to find out the resultant of that then only we can tell what is the net effect of that force on that segment right simply if two forces acting on simply i am punching on this i cannot understand the extent of the force that i am giving on this board if i need to understand that the extent of the force i need to add on this or subtract this or do something to find out the resultant 
and how do you find the resultant of the linear forces it is so simple just add the arithmetic sum mathematic sum arithmetic sum so the next point is that linear forces term has plus and negative value you have to write out and after that finding out the resultant heading would be resultant of a linear force system even if you don't write the uh, heading it's not a problem but if you write it you get a better presentation so finding the resultant of linear force system yeah very good presentation then you will get more marks the linear force system resultant can be found by adding the arithmetic sum of the forces adding the arithmetic sum of the forces that is what I gave you with this example here the force was positive 10 Newton and this force was minus 8 Newton so 10 minus 8 it is 2 Newton clear so the force is 2 in 10. Am I right? Should I give you one more example? I think so. For example, this side we have a new force known as 8 Newton. And this side, someone else is exerting another force known as 4 Newton. How do you define the values of this? This would be positive 8 Newton. This would be negative 4 Newton. So what will be the negative net value? Positive 8 Newton minus 4 Newton, which is equal to 4 Newton, which is equal to 4 Newton. Can you can you uh, just understand this one? I think so. This is so simple. So now we'll go for a big, uh, bit uh, difficult calculation. Not a difficult one, just a different one. Like. Um, instead of considering two forces acting on the opposite segment now consider this scenario this is an 8 newton force on an object over here okay another force is acting on the same segment like this which is about negative 16 newton why this become negative this is negative axis this is negative so what will be the total minus 8 newton minus 16 newton you know that it becomes positive and you get 24 newton as the net force you get 24 newton as the net force so always it need not be separating okay for example here it is a 4 newton is the another 4 newton 8 newton is acting on this direction the total force will become 12 newton it's just mathematics you just need to know the mathematics and i think so that positive you can add on negative and positive you can add on but when two negative comes you might get confused if you're not good at the mathematics don't worry i'm also not that good at mathematics still this is 24 newton you just have to try some examples for example here minus 40 newton is acting in this direction and minus 48 newton is acting in this direction so the net force would be minus 88 newton so the net force would be minus 88 newton nobody is going to give you nobody is going to give you the uh, find out the force calculation minus 8 and minus 16 newton nobody is going to ask you you just have to write the example and the easiest method here is don't go for the example which you can make mistake or which you have not thought of just add on the previous example positive 8 minus 4 8 minus 4 that is 4 newton you can just give an example with a cartesian coordinate system you get the best marks in that okay now the resultant last point on the session is the resultant of the two linear force system will be in line with the forces and you saw that right this two this is the first force this is the second force its resultant also is on in line with the force its resultant is also in line with the force and it will be more close to the higher power force it will be more close to the higher force for example in our previous example of leg consider this one okay here every segment on the body we know that gravitational force is acting you consider it as minus 40 newton and here i tied a 2 kg weight cuff and this is exerting minus 80 newton okay so the resultant of this force is minus 40 minus 80 this is minus 120 newton you know that so where will this act when this one is acting here this one is acting from here to here so the resultant now will be in line with this that is why we are extending this force vector so i am extending this force vector they overlap with each other so it won't be close to minus 40 but it will be close to minus 80 newton so this will be the new resultant or the new point of application of that the force that is a simple mathematics because wherever the force is more that side of whether it is force whether it is a weight or anything whenever whenever it is more on that side the net quantity the resultant quantity moves to that segment am i clear 
should i repeat it again the last point is that the resultant of the linear force system will be more close to the higher force will be more close to the higher force here minus a 40 newton is acting downwards so this is the point of application of that force this is the point of application for example this is the point of application of that 40 80 80 newton so you add out minus 40 minus 80 you get minus 120 and here the resultant of this force will be in closer to the minus 80 newton it won't be here because it will be in between the two forces but still close to the minus longer force okay and what are the examples of linear force system in human body the tensile force which we will study later the joint compression joint distraction forces are examples of linear force system so you can summarize your discussion or your answer sheet like uh, adding on those points and finally the linear force system examples are uh, tensile forces joint compression force joint distraction force etc under specific conditions even though you don't write under specific condition it's well understood and you won't be uh, punished or uh, you won't get mark reduced for that so this is the concept of linear force system don't just listen to this lecture and think that this is understood just draw a cartesian system or this x-axis y-axis add two or three values and study it so that you will remember it throughout your lifetime in the next video keep uh, stay tuned and if you like this video don't forget to click the like button and if you haven't already subscribed please do consider to subscribing to our channel.